Artificial intelligence, a term first coined in 1955, has reshaped almost every industry. How are businesses keeping up with AI advancements? We're diving into the multifaceted world of machine learning and its applications. Welcome to The Exchange from our studio here in Doha. Coming up on this episode, I speak to Tanuja Ranjari from Amazon Web Services for a pulse check on how fast AI is being adopted in Europe. And we hear from Greg Fallon, CEO of Geminis AI, on how generative AI can solve complex challenges in large-scale industries. In health, education and the environment, artificial intelligence is solving real-world problems faster and more accurately than humans. By 2030, AI will turbocharge the global economy, contributing a remarkable $15.7 trillion, with 45% of economic gains stemming from AI-driven product enhancements, we're set to witness an explosion of variety, personalization, and affordability all tailored to meet consumer demand like never before. And with AI powering 40% of corporate decisions, the ethical development and regulation of this technology is critical. With machine learning and generative AI in the mix, experts anticipate that one day, AI may be able to think, reason and possess cognitive capabilities that could surpass human beings. And that's why UNESCO also advises developing and using AI to improve human well-being, protect our fundamental freedoms and sustain our planet. While businesses recognize the enormous economic potential of AI, they still face challenges in adopting and adapting to this transformative technology. I spoke with Tanuja Ranari, the Managing Director for Europe, Middle East and Africa at Amazon Web Services. She shared how the firm is overcoming those hurdles through investments. We have been investing in Europe for some time in cloud um, and AI infrastructure so that our customers can uh, use our technology. We have uh, very recently announced, um, you know, an investment of almost 16 billion euros into Germany, almost the same again in Spain. We've announced 8 billion euros of investment, further investment into the UK market as well, France, Italy. So it is that combination of both infrastructure, providing the choice of solutions, and then making sure that the cloud infrastructure is available to them uh, on which they can actually build their businesses. Here in Qatar, the government is committed to investing in artificial intelligence, recently announcing $2.5 billion in incentives for businesses. With AI expected to add $11 billion to the country's economy by 2030, our reporter Mohamed El Lashi highlights how global tech giants are fostering the country's tech-driven future. That's right, Laila. Qatar is making strides when it comes to the latest technologies. And you know, Mohamed, the country is harnessing the power of AI to diversify its economic growth. And at the heart of this vision, is a strategic partnership with Microsoft. The computing powerhouse is collaborating on state-of-the-art AI solutions to drive creativity, productivity, and prosperity. Microsoft's uh, mission is to empower every person and every organization to achieve more. And this is 100% and fully aligned with Qatar vision towards a sustainable, diverse economic growth and sustainable living and uh, high-class living for its people. Bringing Azure OpenAI to Qatar is a major, major milestone in towards uh, the AI economy. We're making sure every organization utilizes AI. Every person is utilizing Copilot to improve productivity. Skilling, reskilling people for the future of AI is very critical for any country. Qatar's AI roadmap aims to capitalize on public and private partnerships to advance healthcare, energy, and finance with places like Qatar Science and Technology Park serving as a base for international technology companies. AI, of course, is like a key element of what we do here. And we support that by supporting young and aspiring startups and trying to position Qatar as a hub of technology and innovation. We start by working with younger generation to put this mindset of utilizing different technologies, AI to solve problems that they encounter in a day-to-day -day basis. Qatar is committed to innovation and connectivity 
as evidenced by entities like Microsoft and QSTP having a base here. It's not just tech giants. Many startups are building their businesses around AI. In fact, an FDI intelligence report found that half of last year's global venture capitalist funding went to AI-focused firms. One such company is Geminis AI, which provides complex, high-precision AI solutions for large-scale industries. I spoke with CEO Greg Fallon, who shared insights on AI's impact in high-risk and intricate environments. Precision is important, right? Imagine that you're making a decision about how to operate a multi-billion dollar oil refinery. If you get it wrong, you could harm the refinery or worse, you could hurt people. We're showing uh, industrial companies that they can in increase production 5, 10%, they can reduce their costs 40%. And so those are massive changes that AI has unlocked. I think the, the potential impact on humanity is massive. I would say there's an inherent conflict of interest between governments and those regulations. Ultimately, until we see governments globally kind of come together on a common set of regulations, um, I think that we will be in an era where AI may be unequally deployed and deployed in ways that could be nefarious. Now it's time for our regular feature, Business in 60 Seconds. Start the clock. Barnes & Noble is gearing up to announce its Q4 2025 financial results as it continues its remarkable turnaround. It plans to open at least 60 new stores this year. The largest bookseller in the US is focused on creating an engaging in-store experience, capitalizing on the rise of book content due to the book talk phenomenon. Oracle is gearing up to announce its full-year 2025 earnings release. The tech giant recently committed $5 billion to expand its cloud and AI footprints in the UK. The investment follows a similar $8 billion move in Japan last year to meet surging global demand. And Chinese automaker Geely is set to release its Q1 2025 financial results as it positions itself at the forefront of the autonomous driving market. With the launch of its advanced G-Pilot driver assistance system, the company aims to enhance its competitive edge against rivals like Tesla and BYD. So, artificial intelligence is a reality we all must get used to in a safe way, whether it's through regulations, education or awareness. The key is to make AI work with us in a complementary way without over-relying on the technology. Well, that's all the time we have for on this edition of the show. Thanks for watching. Please do check out yournews.com for all your latest business news and join us again next time on The Exchange.